Here it is, my new Danax. So this is a Danax from the 11th century. And it's based on an, a find, an archaeological find. And th in this video I just wanted to tell you I have the axe. I know lo lots of you have asked me uh, when will the axe, uh, when will I show you the axe in a video. So here it is. But this is just the first video. I will be reviewing this axe and I will be testing this axe on a ballistic head. That's right. So I have ordered a, uh, a couple of ballistic heads because I will be testing my Danax and I will be testing an Ulfbert sword as well uh, in an upcoming video. So I am waiting for those uh, heads to arrive and while I'm waiting I just wanted to tell you a uh, little bit about this axe. Now uh, if you can notice this angle here it's not straight on the shaft it's it's because um, I have found that this angle uh, enables you to um, it's, it's like that because when you swing your axe this hits actually in 90 degrees on your target so that's why it's angled. It's extremely sharp and uh, if I didn't mention so already this is a Dane axe made by Enzo Workshop and John there he uh, he sent me a uh, video actually you can follow John and Enzo Workshop on Instagram he's got a video there where he shaves his uh, arm with this axe head here so it's it's scary sharp and I'm going to stitch up a, uh, a leather sheath now for this axe after he made the uh, the axe head uh, I, I, I told him that I will um, fit it on a uh, shaft. So I had one already. This is uh, uh, an, um, from an old ash tree uh, locally actually that they, they had to cut down. I carved out this, this shaft here. So uh, I have shaped it so that it fits my hands and it's just uh, it's uh, it's that straight to Valhalla feeling. <laughs> so it just feels very good. It's, I'm telling you, this is going to cleave that head straight through. It's an awesome weapon. And you know my other axe, the bearded axe? Um, I haven't found a name. But this one. Can you hear that? He's telling me his name. And it's not a Nordic name, it's not a Norse name. For some reason this axe wants to be named the Beast. Yeah, that's right. So I don't know why, but it's a good name and uh, I don't have to translate it. This is the Beast. Yeah. It's so it, oh, it's awesome. Can't wait to test this axe. And I think, you know, if you uh, if you ask John, he might be able to make you an axe like this. Very sharp. As soon as I uh, those heads arrive, I will be uh, testing this axe. Um, such an awesome beautiful axe. Okay, that's all for now and um, as always thank you for watching and thank you for joining me. I'm in my garage here now because it's uh, it's so windy outside so you wouldn't be able to hear me. Um, and also it's a bit like uh, at least without the sheath you don't want to carry this around in public. You know, I guess with the sheath it would be okay. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I don't care. Um, okay. Until I see you next time, take care. <laughs>